Hey, it's Aaron the Ho, and here's a few things that we've had to do to the Lunatic Tactic Extreme in order to get you this review. We installed the case and spent in total, for all the things that we did, about 9 minutes worth of installing screws into this case. We did an oh crap water test which required us to actually put a phone in this case and toss it into a bucket of water. We also tossed it across this wonderful room to see if it would actually protect our iPhone from shocks and drops and well it did. Real usage, real reviews, mobilereviewsa.ca. Eh? Now this isn't our first lunatic case, this is actually I think our fourth one. We've done a review for the original Tactic Extreme for the iPhone 5, we've done one for the Strike, we've got one for the Seismic, and we've also done stuff for the Lunatic Touch Alloy Pen. We really like lunatic stuff if you haven't figured that part out yet. Lunatic cases most definitely will protect your phone from everyday bumps and drops and then the occasion submersion. This case isn't waterproof, but how it's designed, it offers a higher level of water resistance. The best thing about this case is that it has a Gorilla Glass screen protector, so using your iPhone inside this case is a breeze and almost a joy. From a design standpoint, Lunatic did an incredible thing with this case. Their build quality as well as design of the case just makes it phenomenal. But it does come with a pretty hefty price tag. This is a $125 case and you have to ship it outside the states. We got dinged on the customs fee, so this thing came up to about $150. Bucks. It does add quite a bit of bulk and weight to your phone, but because of how it's designed, it doesn't feel cumbersome like a lot of the other bigger cases that we've reviewed. Now based on our rating system, we gave this case a score of 4.1 A's out of 5, which means that this case we've rated higher than life proof free, which is a fully ruggedized case, as well as the Incipio Atlas ID, another case that has a glass screen protector. Now if you've already made up your mind and you want to get this case, send us a direct message and we'll hook you up with a 20% off discount off of Lunatic's site. Now we've broken this review into three categories and they're on this side. We're going to talk about the design, we're going to talk about the protection as well as the functionality of this case. I've also included timestamps in the bottom of the description section below so you can easily navigate to whatever section you want to go uh, look at. So let's get started. Now for the design category, as I said before, the design of this case is incredible. In terms of weight and bulk, this is basically a silicone sandwich. There's two pieces of hard polymer plastic on the outside and they're screwed together. The, polar, the silicone doesn't actually touch any of that, but it's a very thick case and it will add about twice as much thickness to your iPhone. To add to that thickness, your entire iPhone is surrounded by 9 millimeters of silicone, so this is a very, very big case. Now installing the case is no easy feat either because you've got screws that you have to install and we did find with the installation of this case it seemed a little more finicky than the previous uh, generation of Lunatic Tactic Extremes. Lunatic does provide you with a uh, installation to an M2 assembly tool is what they call it and it takes a lot of effort to kind of screw everything in and then because we take our phones out of cases a lot for all the shoots that we do it's a big hassle for us to install all these screws. The one thing we did notice was that if you installed it too tight in one of the corners you would easily lose sensitivity from that corner of the iPhone or you would actually the contact between the touch screen and the Gorilla Glass would actually create a rainbowing effect. So Lunatic does include a installation video so if you do have this case and you do have that problem I do recommend that you go check it out. Now I've been praising the design of this case and you must be bored of it by now but I just have to say one last thing is that everything fits so incredibly well with this case. Even after dropping it several several times the case still feels incredibly solid. That fit is just it's awesome. The front of the case is this hard polymer plastic as well as the back so it makes it quite easy to put into your uh, pockets and whatnot but if you were to put this on the table there's a rubber piece that helps it from not sliding around so again Lunatics just figured it all out. Now in terms of protection, this is one of the things we don't quite like about Lunatic is that they don't tell you how far you can actually do stuff to the case. It is marketed as an ultra rugged extreme protective case but they don't tell you they can drop it from a certain height. They don't tell you that you, it, it's a IP waterproof to a certain amount of rate and so you, when you look at the case you might think well they don't tell you how far you can drop it or how much water it can keep out. Let me tell you that you can do a lot of stuff to it despite the fact that Lunatic doesn't tell you that you can. In terms of shock protection, the first case that we rated, we threw it against a brick wall and the iPhone was 5. For this case, we tossed it around in this room and the phone again is safe. We also did this to it. And damn, it's still recording. You know what, let's do it one more time. So yeah, the phone works, which is pretty crazy given that we just did that to an iPhone. Now in terms of water resistance, this case is very very water resistant. The, the design of the case, there's all these ridges along the inside of the case and so when you screw everything together it doesn't quite create a waterproof seal but it will keep water out, especially in an emergency submersion. 
We did a no crap test, which was us putting a phone into this case and then throwing it into a bucket of water and pulling out right away. And the only places that the water kind of started to go through was, you know, where there was actually no seals, which was the camera port. Um, and water did start going through some of the hydrophobic meshes. But again, you just, if you were to drop in the toilet, say, and you pull it out right away, your phone is going to be okay. There was nothing in the hardware ports, which was a really good thing. Now in terms of screen protection, this is like the mother of all screen protectors. It's another piece of Gorilla Glass that sits on top of your iPhone touch screen. The only other case that we have seen with the glass screen protector is the Incipio Atlas and this screen protector on the Lunatic Tactic Extreme is an entire magnitude better than the one on the Incipio Atlas ID. The entire glass pane runs along the entire length of the uh, iPhone and it's glued on the inside very well and it's about a millimeter thick. Now in terms of the functionality, accessing your iPhone inside this case is almost a joy because it's so huge, but you can still get to everything easily except for the Touch ID sensor. We did knock the case score down a bit because of that, but hey, now you're just unlocking your iPhone like it used to before the iPhone 5S. Accessing the power button as well as the volume button just requires you to push through the impact truss. One of the neatest things about this case is how they access the mute ringer switch on the side of the iPhone. Now most other cases requires you to flip it on the side of the case, but Lunatic has figured out a way where you just kind of push this black button on the front and on the back of the case to access your mute ringer switch, which is a really neat design feature for my opinion anyways. Accessing your headphone port is done through this, you know, coolly colored aluminum plug. And I do have to note that on the plug for the original one for this case, we kind of warped it in one of the drop tests. So we're using a red one right now from the old Tactic Extreme that we do have. Now the type of headphones that you can install, it fits the Apple standard ones, but that's about it. I do have a set of headphones that are just slightly bigger than the plug for the Apple headphones. And it does work, but if you got anything larger than that, you're, you're kind of out of luck. And they don't include an adapter uh, for you to use. Use. Now in terms of listening to your iPhone inside this case, we didn't have any problem with the earpiece speaker, listening to voice calls, as well as listening to music from the speakers at the bottom of the case. It doesn't, this, the Lunatic Tactic Extreme does not distort any of the uh, sound coming from the iPhone. In terms of screen usability, it's like a naked iPhone or like a life-proof nude. You don't really notice that there's another layer between your finger and your touchscreen of your iPhone. It is that awesome. Now in terms of screen viewability, there is virtually no difference between how you see things on your iPhone with or without the case. There's no additional glare and there's no additional weird reflection type rainbowing effect. It is really, really nice. The one thing we will add is that there seems to be some sort of anti-fingerprint smudging coating on this case, which makes it so much better than the other glass screen protector found on the Incipio Atlas, which is like a magnet for grease stains, but not for the Lunatic Tactic Extreme. So again, we gave this case a score of 4.1 A's out of 5. It is a very good rugged case. It is a bit large and it does require you to use screws, but if you're looking for something that looks really awesome and provides a great amount of protection, do check this case out. Again, if you want this case, send us a direct message and we'll hook you up with a 20% discount off of Lunatic's website. If you have any questions about this case or if you do actually have this case and you've got feedback to give us, leave it in the comments section below. We'd love to know what you guys think about this case if you do have it or if you have any questions, again, leave them in the comment section below. Find us on Google Plus and Twitter and Facebook as well. You can ask us there questions there. If you think we need to make another specific video for something on this case, let us know and we'll most likely consider and do it. Do check out our website as it does help us out. And we don't actually get paid to do any of these reviews. We just like cases and we like iPhones and we like making videos. So to help us out, do go to our website and if you do find something that you do like, uh, use one of the buy now buttons off of that website. If this is the first time you're watching one of our videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe as we do one accessory review every single week. So we create a series of videos. So you get new stuff almost every single day on our channel. So do click subscribe. I'm Aaron the Ho. I review things at mobilereviewsa.ca. And this case is really awesome, but it came apart because I didn't screw it all in. Thanks for watching.